Her work from the bench has changed the lives of many youth in our city traveling on the wrong path. Her open minded approach to criminal justice may rub some people the wrong way, but Judge Sheila Calloway is guided by both passion and compassion, doing everything in her power to make life better for your community. Here's Marius Payton. Judge Sheila Calloway presides over this juvenile court with passion and compassion. My passion, I think it comes from literally my parents mm -hmm. and um, the spiritual upbringing they, they brought me through. Mm -hmm. um, my parents were always people who wanted to help people. Calloway lives that mentality, believing in justice as well as rehabilitation. To her, in that space between guilt and innocence is a gray area where second chances thrive. When you think about, um, you know, what people say, you should just be hard on crime, you just lock people up, that doesn't really change behaviors. In fact, that a lot of times make people worse. I'm proud to say I'm not soft on crime, I'm smart on crime. One of her success stories deals with a drug addicted mother set to lose her kids. You know, Marquella came to the court system um, having a drug issue, and it was one of our parent cases. It's a neglect dependent case. And when she came, she literally was probably at the end of the rope. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. This was life and death we're talking about. Um, I was at the verge of losing my kids permanently. It is not like I wasn't trying to get my boys back. I just didn't know how to get my boys back. It didn't have that support system behind me to get my boys back. On one side of the courtroom, a dozen people who wanted to take her kids. On the other side, a public defender, Marquella and Pastor Glenda Sutton. Judge Calloway addressed the pastor first. When she said, Pastor Glenda, what are you doing in my courtroom? And she and I said, good morning, how are you? And she said, do you know her? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, is she one of yours? <laughs> My mouth said, yes, ma'am. And she said, are you going to help her? That answer was yes. Now, 15 years later, both boys are thriving and producing as citizens instead of being products of the juvenile system. Got me and my boys. And Marquella is not only living, but she is alive. And it all started with the second chance. And when I tell you that my life had turned tremendously around, it has turned tremendously around. You know, I had got my boys back. Um, I am working now at a drug rehab facility. I had completed to go get my, I went to, um, back to school to get my GED. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Praise God. Because I mean, when I went there, I had, I'm telling you, no plans. I had nothing. It's, that's exactly what it's all about. It's giving people a chance to change, which we all have the capability of making changes, and giving them the support and the help that they need and the resources that they need to make those changes mm -hmm. and to just watch and watch how wonderful change can make a person. Marius Payton, thank you for sharing that story. And that is the impact. One second chance improved the lives of three people. Who knows how many other generations, right? will trickle down from that. Judge Calloway is in year seven of her eight year term right now. And when asked if she was going to run for office again, the answer was yes. She told News 4 there are still too many goals she has for herself and for her community to stop grinding now.